Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing three beauty boxes from Pixie. Oh, they're really heavy. And whenever it comes to Pixie's packaging, the word that comes to my mind is wow. <laughs> so let us see, there's a range of like skincare and makeup products inside here. Let us start off with the biggest box. <laughs> this one, oh, you can see it says Pixie, love the skin you're in, skin treats. So it opens from the side and this is how it looks like. It looks like a little wheel. So, oh wow, it really spins. So you can spin and see what you have to use, no, what you should use today. Okay, that just took up my entire table. <laughs> so let's spin. First thing we're going to be looking at is this one over here. It is like squash inside. So the word on this is glow and this is oh, sheet mask. Never knew that Pixie does sheet masks and I love sheet masks as you can tell from my sheet mask collection video. So you get three and they are all the same. Okay, so let's just look at one. It's 23 grams which is like the standard Korean mask weight. It is the Glow Glycolic Boost. Wow, I have tried to say that so many times. So it comes with glycolic acid, ginseng and witch hazel. It is the Brightening Infusion Sheet Mask. So Witch Hazel seems to be really good for acne. It says instant brightening and hydrating. It says that it has herbal extracts. So my thinking is that it probably would smell very herbally. It helps to improve and maintain skin health and give you more luminous skin. So you just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm a little bit worried that they folded it like that. You know, we need to have some respect for sheet masks. We can't treat them like that. But hey, it's not just one piece, but three pieces to see if it really works for me. Okay, next up, we're looking at this thing over here and it says Depuff. This is the Depuffing Eye Patches Detoxify. And there's 30 pairs, which means 60 patches and, oh, and a spatula for you to lift them up. There are hydrogel patches, so it's infused with cucumber and gold. My favorite kind of scent is cucumber, so that helps it soothe, nourish, and fortify. There's also caffeine in it, so not only hydration, but it's also good for reducing dark circles. There are 30 pairs in here, but I'm not going to be opening it up because it says that it's only good for 6 months. Alright, so now that we've gotten all the patches and masks out of the way, we're going to be looking at this one now, and this is the Glow Matte Mask. Detox is the word for it, which is right. This is a 15 minute facial. I love wash off masks and it's only 15 minutes. So when it says mud, to me that just means like drawing out impurities. Pore clearing, glow revealing, which is what it means. So there's aloe vera, ginseng and mineral rich mud. So after 15 minutes, it will start to dry and then I'll just rinse it off. Not only that, but you can also use it as a spot treatment. Mm, I usually won't use it as a spot treatment, I usually use it all over my face. I am most excited for this because I'm going through my wash off mask pretty quickly. So let's see what is next, which is this one. And this one doesn't have any words on it because it is a cloth. It is very nicely packaged like this. There is no description on it. Whoa, it's really soft, but it's kind of like those muslin cloth. So some masks, they recommend that like after you use this mud mask, when it dries down, you can wet this with warm water and then use it to rub off. I am just too lazy for that. But I do use this kind of cloth for like sometimes like cleaning my face. So that would definitely come in handy. Now this one... Wow, so far we haven't gotten like it rolling to an empty hole. <laughs> the word says peel and this one, it says peel and polish. Mm, so it's a resurfacing concentrate. Still not sure what this is. Oh, it's a radiance revealing enzyme peel. You just apply it onto your clean skin and you only need to leave it on for 2 minutes. Wow, I expected longer. This makes me really excited to try it because only 2 minutes. But you can leave it uh, for extra exfoliation, gently massage into face for 30 seconds and then you rinse it off. So that sounds like there are maybe bits in this. That's why you can use it for exfoliation. It says that it has natural fruit enzymes, exfoliate and polish. This is very intriguing to me because you can even use it in the AM. So probably not that harsh. I cannot wait to try this out. Okay, so now the last item here, it says Purify. So there's like something for every kind of skincare step. This one is the T-Zone Peel-Off Mask. It is another peel-off mask, but it says that it is pore purifier. It is a detoxifying mask, so it helps to draw out the impurities. I love to use this kind of mask after I remove my makeup. This one, you just only use it on the T-zone area. Oh, when it's completely dry, you just peel it off. Luckily, I read this correctly. If not, I would have used it all over my face as an all-over peel-off mask. So this one, it says that it's a unique green superfood blend, which helps to refine and refresh. 
Moving on to the second biggest box, it says Pixie Love. It's a pale pink box. Let us open this up. Okay, so it comes with this. Oh, oh, okay. And alright, so we've hit the makeup box. We're gonna be doing some swatching over here, but before that, let's look at this case over here. I would think it's brushes, eye brushes perhaps to go along with the eyeshadow palettes. It's like a I don't know what material this is. Oh, it smells a bit plasticky, but it's very nice and pretty. And oh it's so pretty. The inside actually has its own holes for the eye brushes and it's like a padded case. Truth is, nobody would travel with this for like three eye brushes, but it is obnoxious and girls will buy it just because of that case. Honestly, you can even put other things in here like your spectacles. Okay, so there are three brushes and they are all different sizes. There are pixie brushes, no specific words on them. There are two eyeshadow palettes and they are both called the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. So this one is Reflex Light and then this one is Natural Beauty. Now Reflex Light makes sense as a name because all the shades in here, there are 12 shades and they are all shimmer shadows. This would be a good honeymoon palette for me because then I have a variation of eyelid shades. Those that I place right in the middle for like a pop. So let us just swatch a couple. Uh, I want to swatch the gold one. Whoa. And the pink one. They're actually pretty firm. You see I'm rubbing like this but there isn't much of a drop, dropping fallout. So let us swatch this right in the middle too. This looks like a taupey shade. And then obviously we have to swatch something which is a red one and let us just try out a brown mm, let's do this light brown over here okay they have names here so that's gonna make it easier the first one that I picked out was gold foil and then I pick out pink lustre and then this one that I say is a topi shade is called vintage gold okay I see the gold in it and then this one is auburn blaze and this one is antique bronze all right so let us swatch this is the gold shade. Okay, I can kind of see it through the reflection here on my phone that I can see a sheen. Oh, okay, let's look at this red one. This very naked heat. Wow, that is very vibrant. And then now, I need to swatch the brown one. Whoa. Wow, these are really pigmented and there's still so much product left on my fingers. So I wiped it off with a wet cloth and I was quite worried that this red shade over here would stain but it didn't so that's pretty good. Now the next one that I'm showing you I definitely do not like as much as this one because this one is more like smoky. It says natural beauty but it looks very smoky and brown. I guess they were trying to say like it's very neutral so this is what it looks like. So this one it has a good mix of matte and shimmer shades. Mm, I've never tried out pixie eyeshadow so I was really impressed by this one already but now let's try out the mattes because sometimes the matte just isn't as good as the shimmers we're gonna try out this one which is called petal now we're gonna try out uh, oh this feels pretty chunky this one is metal morph matte right in the middle is called rose clay and then let's try out a matte brown okay I also want to try out another shimmer because that shimmer over there was pretty chunky so let's try out the Coco Shimmer, which is this one over here. Mm, it isn't as chunky. This palette doesn't look that impressive, but honestly, these are the kind of shades that one would actually use pretty often. Whoa, look at that shimmer. Okay, I see something dropping. <laughs> and then this one over here. Mm, the Metal Morph is very chunky and gritty, which is why it's kind of like peeling off. The mattes are actually nice. Let's try and blend them out. They, quite, they blend pretty easily. Blending out the brown one, you can still see the color over here so it's not like it blends into nothing. Now this is something different because even my past packages from Pixie, they were always boxes but this one is like a travel pouch. It's very pretty, it's all rose so I'm guessing maybe there's a rose theme going on. Even the zipper is rose gold in color. So let's unzip this and see. Oh, it opens up into two individual pouches which is so good for traveling. You can hang this on the bathroom door. Okay, so it comes with a little card so you can know what they are. And it also is labeled in steps. And there's nine steps over here. Oh, these are rose infused favorites which is why the packaging is rose in color. And it has my name on it. It says Dear Maggie Bon Voyage. So we're going to follow the card here. They say number one. Let's take out everything. <laughs> they say step one to remove your makeup. Ooh, this feels really nice packaging and soft. This is the Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths. 
there are 10 in here and I can't smell it but it seems like it would smell amazing because it's chamomile and rose so the chamomile is to calm your complexion and then the rose extract is to cleanse and soothe skin so they did not write anything here about eye area generally I always use makeup cleansing cloths to remove my makeup and I always just use them on, on my eye area too so the real test will be whether this can remove my liquid eyeliner step 2 is to cleanse and you have to use their rose cream cleanser this is 135 ml so the first line it says soothing gentle cleanser it is a cream cleanser but it says that it has mineral rich mud so this is going to be really good for after I remove my makeup so when it says cream I get a little bit worried because I wonder if it's going to be foaming because I only like foaming cleansers mm. so it doesn't only have rose and chamomile it also has avocado and aloe vera this is an awesome product to get because I always run through cleansers now the next thing is the rose tonic it's a good thing that I like rose flavored things if you don't then I don't think you will like this entire line so rose tonic I've only heard of the pixie glow tonic which I'm currently using right now yes this is also a toner but it's a rose and other flower nourishing toner it's 100 ml so barely hit the mark for you to travel with on the plane oh but this one is different from the pixie glow tonic I personally find that pixie glow tonic I would never use it in the day it is a little bit too strong this one you can use am and pm it is naturally soothing and is rich in nutrients suitable for even the most sensitive skin types which makes me feel like this is going to be gentler than the pixie glow tonic this is going to be great because I'm going to be keeping this for my honeymoon and I'm going to travel with it awesome because I don't have a travel size tonic uh, yeah tonic okay so next number 4 you're supposed to hydrate which with the uh, rose caviar essence there is rose and grape seed oil in it and it's an encapsulated moisture serum ah so this is how it looks like it's one of those where it is like suspended in this serum essence you can use it in the AM and PM it's supposed to hydrate and restore skin brightness for optimum radiance so what they're trying to say is go in with a serum and then I'm guessing that the next one will be a heavier moisturizer Next one, they call it Boost with the Rose Flash Balm. This is with rose and olive extract. It's the Instant Skin Booster. No, this is not just like a heavier duty moisturizer. This, I've heard of this because this one actually can double out as a makeup product because you can use it as a primer. It says 3-in-1. So, moisturize, brighten, revitalizes as well as a primer to prep skin for perfect makeup application. Now this sounds a little bit confusing because you can also use it as a mask to apply a thick layer and leave it on for 5 minutes. This is one of those things where if your skin feels really dry, you can go in with this as a primer and you can actually skip like moisturizer, just sunscreen and then this one and you're good to go for makeup application. I'm gonna move this over to my makeup collection and use it that way. Okay, so next up, moisturize. This is where we were gonna go. This is moisturizing with the Rose Ceramide Cream. It says that it is an intensive moisturizer. Ultra Rich Moisture Cream. There is Rose Flower and Rosemary Oil. Oh, I don't like this kind of packaging. It's those kind where it's really hard to get the product out at the end. So it says that, what I like about this is that it says it locks in intense moisture while helping to protect against environmental aggressors. You can use daily, so since it's an intensive moisturizer, I will only use it as an overnight moisturizer. Next up is number 7, which is Nourish with the Rose Oil Blend. I have gone through the Jasmine Oil Blend, and that one you really just need a tiny little drop. It can cover your entire face, and I do not like oils, but that one my skin actually like it, although I don't like the greasy feeling on my skin. Now this one is the Rose one, it's Rose and Pomegranate Oils. So this is how it came for my previous one too, it's like separate, and I just put the little dropper thing inside. From my experience with the jasmine oil, I feel like pixie oil tends to be a little bit on the thicker side. It just feels like, because sometimes I apply the oil and then I do some stuff on my computer, I don't go to bed right away. It feels like it's mixing with my natural oil and then it's just getting oilier and oilier. <laughs> But this one it sounds a little bit better because this one it says that for extra hydration and glow, you can add 1 to 2 drops to your moisturizer before applying. Which is probably what I would prefer. I will probably add it and see if it helps my moisturizer and give me extra benefits. So now I'm a, I'm a little bit lost. I only have 2 more items left. This is like a routine but obviously nobody will use all 9 products. And this is the Makeup Fixing Mist. Let me find that. 
There are two mists over here, but this one, the pale pink one, is for makeup setting. It is the rose water and green tea. I have the oil one, so I'm not going to be opening up this one because I have so many setting mists open. The oil one is called the glow mist. Wow. At first, I didn't like it, but then I realized if I use it for before makeup, my skin looks really nice and like hydrated. This one you can also use for before makeup. They say that before makeup, it will extend your makeup wear and after makeup, it will set the makeup and it will add a soft focus finish. So their little mister is like a flatter, it looks like a round shape but like flat but it's very fine mist which I really like. Now this one is something different, it's the Rose Glow Mist. It looks so pretty but it looks like there's a layer of oil on top. This one has 7 flower oils, it's Antioxidant Botanical Boost. It's a dual face elixir. There is this oil over here, it's called Essential Fatty Acids. So you shake it up and I can tell that's why they say it's a glow mist. So before makeup, it helps to calm, create moisture barrier and smooth. Yeah, so when so if you want like a dewy look or you want to make your foundation look even more dewy, you go in with this first. And after makeup, it sets and it adds a natural dewy finish. So now this is something that I won't use after my makeup. Or maybe I'll use it just along my jawline which is a lot drier than my T-zone because I live in a summer weather. I really really like the packaging of this because it is just so practical. I think I'm going to be bringing this with me to Korea because I can just hang it on the bathroom. I can even do like one side is mine and one side is my husband's things. And what I'm most excited for is definitely the mist. I just really like misting products. I have a lot of them. And also this one which is the Rose Flash Balm because I can move it to my makeup collection. That's all for my Pixie haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!